Good evening, runners. This is an update from the 2017 Beer and Bagel Race in South Bend, Nebraska um, from this past weekend. Now that I'm feeling better and got some rest and my legs are a little bit healed, um, I can finally talk and get this video out. But uh, awesome race. Um, unfortunately, life doesn't stop you even though when you are racing. Uh, military lifestyle, uh, duty comes first. So. I had to go to work the last couple days and now I have some time to actually record a video and get what I experienced over this last uh, this past weekend. So that being said, uh, the 2017 Beer and Bagel race was a awesome race and for those who did both days or did the races both days, it was called the Squashy Challenge. Um, so basically a two day race consisting of two separate races. The first day consisting of a half marathon with about roughly uh, 200 runners and the second day uh, race being a four mile-ish run which was just over four miles that had about registered 2,000 runners but I think only 13 to 1,500 runners showed up I don't know I didn't look at the final tally uh, or the results when it came out but uh, nonetheless it was a great race uh, great time um, the weather on the first day was about 30 degrees I uh, started misting and raining uh, towards the end uh, of the race. Uh, didn't really affect me too much. I was already done. Um, I'm, I'm sure some of the runners still on the course got the the brunt of it. And I'm sure the trails got wet and you know started causing some slipping and sliding. But got to run faster if you're gonna get through it, right? Um, the second day, the weather was absolutely beautiful. Sunny, high 40s, not a cloud in sight. Um, very little wind. Uh, it was a nice day to go run. Um, the trolls had no uh, leftover effects from the first day, which was nice. Even though it was spotty at times, you could probably t think you were going to slip, but uh, it was actually pretty good. So um, I was I was happy about that. So I didn't have to worry about falling down a hill or anything like that. So. With both races, I ended up finishing second in my age group on both days. I got these nice little heavy metals to remind me about it. I'll turn one around so you can see. Um, pretty nice metals. Wasn't expecting that, especially with the super athletic gazelles that were running in front of me for most of the race. I was, I couldn't believe how fast they could run. In fact, the guy that finished first. Um, especially the four mile race ran his four mile race in 21 minutes, maybe less than that. Maybe it was like 15, but whatever it was, it was super crazy. And everybody in the crowd was like, oh wow, I can't believe that happened. Oh, that's, that's nuts. So yeah, um, if you completed both races that day, you got a nice little squashy metal, another nice little heavy metal. Oh, I'll turn around here. The little bottle opener at the end so this is pretty nice metal I'll take that uh, if you complete just one race you got a bottle opener just a little bottom piece uh, the same with the four mile race you got the little bottom piece but if you did the both both races you got the the heavy metal with the bottle opener so I'll take that any given day and the fact that I did both races um, super proud of myself for accomplishing that it was a uh, was an awesome time uh, the trail at Quarry Oaks in South Bend, Nebraska wasn't very technical, but it was very hilly, and I hate running hills, but it's something I'm going to have to grow accustomed to. It just seemed like we were running uphill the entire time. Um, it's like the old tale or the old adage from your grandparents where you, they had to walk to school and back home both ways, uphill, barefooted in the snow. Um, that's what it seemed like. Considering you finished one lap, one loop in the half marathon just to turn around and run back the opposite way and When you got done with that loop to turn around and run back the same way you just came so um, You at that point you knew every hill that was coming every crossing they had to go past and It didn't make it fun. I'd rather just one one continuous loop or one continuous run without having to face the same challenges you did before because knowing that you have to run up that hill you ran up twice before is um, daunting to say the least. In fact, I can't even tell you, I can't even remember a straight shot on this trail to save my life. Maybe running through 
one of the greens on the golf course maybe, but even the greens on the golf course had little lumps that they forced you to go over. So even that, you were running uphill, downhill, uphill, downhill at some point. So it definitely took its tolls on my legs. Um, got my first black toe. So I'm going to wait for that uh, toenail to fall off at some point. Um, if I could shoot a picture of it and include it in the video at some point, I will. I'm still learning how to make these videos as I go along. I'm sure there's some kind of video profile editor out there. But for now, I'll save you the uh, the grossness of it. But it's definitely worth it knowing that I got my first black toe and I can move on from that because I guess that's in the top 10, knowing that you've become a runner when you got your first black toe. So after completing both races, I want to say that the after party on these races, probably the best I've been to so far. Um, lots of beer, lots of food, great people, great atmosphere, lots of games. I definitely recommend this race to anybody who wants to run it. The half marathon or even the four mile race. Uh, it was probably one of the best races I've ever attended for the post party. Uh, great time and very fr very friendly people. It's to say the least, sorry, a little bit tired. Um, I know I definitely will be back next year, even if I don't live in Omaha, I will definitely come back and run this race because I thought it was awesome. I know what I need to do to prepare myself for any future trail races. Learned a lot of lessons with this, especially with the technical, I don't say technical, but the, the level of difficulty with the hills. It def definitely challenged me. I'm definitely going to prepare myself for my next race that's in Kansas City. Uh, I know I'll be back. That's all I have to say. Um, I wish I could add more to this right now and add more uh, course maps, but they don't provide that because the course changes every year from what I've been told. Um, but if you get a chance to head out to Cory Oaks in South Bend, just follow the, the, the first trail you see and you'll know what I'm talking about. Um, definitely a great run. And a great race to test your metal to get you prepared for anything that you have coming along in your races. I de like I said, I definitely recommend it. With that, I'm going to bed. Have a good night. See you all later. I'll talk to you on my next race.